Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. And good evening, everyone. All right, we're tracking just a, a little bit of, uh, well, at least light snow showing up on Storm Shield radar. Whether or not this is making it to the ground, a different story, but at least the echo is there. And if you saw a stray snowflake coming down, I wouldn't be surprised. You can see it's moving from the northwest to the southeast, quickly shrinking in size. Just a little jet stream energy that is powering that. If we look at our high res future track and I take this through the evening hours, you'll notice a couple of them, perhaps even more snow flurries showing up around Bartlesville to Coffeyville here in the overnight hours. It's not going to create any kind of problems for the morning commute. That is sure. Weather picks continue to come in. I thought I'd share them with you. Frozen fog from Mike Davis. That's a beautiful picture there. Just got this one in from Michelle Wright in Muskogee. That's tonight's sunset and it is a colorful one. And if if you're a Doctor Who fan, you know what the TARDIS is? Well, Noel Hahn in Sand Springs says the TARDIS is snowed in in his backyard. A great picture there. All right, weekend hazards. Friday morning, we have a little freezing drizzle that we have to be worried about, but it's uh, very light amounts. I'm talking hundredths of an amount and likely very early in the morning. So we'll just call it a little bit of freezing drizzle or freezing rain early. It'll change to rain. Then Saturday, we could have a thunderstorm in the area. Not severe, but to hear thunder and get some rain in February. Not doesn't happen every year, but it could happen uh, this weekend. And then Sunday, we've got to worry about a little bit of light snow, perhaps, and much colder air coming in for Sunday afternoon as temperatures drop into the 20s during the afternoon hours on Sunday. So it's about to get really cold then. As for the next 24 hours, not as cold as Sunday. In fact, we're going to be warming up. We'll have an ice patch possible tonight at 10 p.m. A warmer day setting up tomorrow, already up to 34 by the noon hour. A chilly breeze and 46 with sunshine tomorrow afternoon and a frosty night tomorrow night, 35 by 8 p.m. Right now, we're looking back to the north and that lower cloud deck associated with that little area of flurries up there to the north and east. We've dropped to 33 degrees with the northwest wind right now, light at 3 miles an hour. High pressure in control tomorrow, so sunshine, a southeasterly wind, a storm system develops out here in the central plains. Clouds increase Friday morning, and even though it's not showing up, there is that chance for some very light, I'm talking very light, freezing drizzle Friday morning. Once we make it into Friday afternoon, Friday night, now it's looking at rain. As temperatures are above freezing, the warm front lifts north of the area. The temperatures are well above freezing at that point. Those yellows would indicate rain and thunderstorms. But look what's happening back here. Colder air plunging in behind that and with a little disturbance perhaps moving in behind that on Sunday. That's where we'd have that little bit of light snow. But it look, right now looks like it will be very light. Today's high 35, the morning low 19. The averages are 54 and 32, the record high 78 in 1930. So tonight... We expect a, a cold night, 19 degrees, but it could be even colder away from Tulsa. Notice up here as you get closer to Joplin, so that would include uh, places like Miami and Quapaw. You're looking at overnight lows in the single digits. Grove around 10, Prior around 13, Tulsa about 19, a little warmer to the southwest and south. Uh, Bristow around 20, McAllister around 22. Then our neighborhood forecast for tomorrow, Okmulgee. 47, mostly sunny skies, but again, a chilly breeze. High should generally be in the upper 30s up to the north, close to the Kansas border. Mid 40s around Tulsa to Muskogee and low 50 south of Interstate 40. McAllister, 51 degrees tomorrow with that southeast wind. 29 Friday morning, just that small chance for some light freezing drizzle. Otherwise, chance for rain Friday night, 48 the high. Saturday, 54, a chance for a thunderstorm and an 80% chance of rain, and then a 20% chance for snow showers on Sunday, down to about 11 by Monday morning. Hey.